Hello everyone, welcome to Barca News. It is September 16th, 2023. And so far, Frank de Jong is refusing to extend his contract with Barcelona. Also, Gabriel Moscardo is on the priority list for Barcelona. And finally, Arthur Vermeeren could be a future option for the club. We have a lot to discuss, so let's begin. Hello everyone, welcome to the channel. My name is Mo, and before we begin with the news, just a quick reminder to make sure to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. It goes a long way in helping this channel continue to grow. Also, if you are looking for any Barcelona jerseys or merchandise, make sure you hit the kit bag. And if you are looking to place any sports bat, make sure you hit the bat us. Both links are down below in the description. And now, I'll begin with the great news that Barcelona absolutely demolished Real Betis today, 5-0 in what was an incredible performance by the entire team and where we saw both Joao Cancelo and Joao Felix start for the first time as Barcelona players and both players even scored in the match as well. Now I did a post-match live stream analysis where I analyzed that entire match so if you are curious about my thoughts and opinions about what went on in the match make sure you check out that video. Now on to the news that Frankie de Jong has communicated to his representatives that so far he's unwilling to extend his contract with Barcelona. Now, Frankie de Jong's contract expires in 2026 and his contract was initially extended by the previous president, Josep Maria Bartomeu. And as a result, Frankie de Jong's contract is way above market value. And not only is he the highest earning player on the squad, he's actually the highest earning player in the entire Spanish league. Now, it's expected that Frankie de Jong will earn 27 million euro salary for this season fix so this does not count the bonuses and of course this is an incredibly high salary that not only is it way above market value but it's also out of the budget for barcelona especially when you take into consideration that la liga just slashed the salary cap for barcelona all the way down to 270 million euros now barcelona were hoping to negotiate with frank de young a contract extension until 2028 where they wanted to follow the same formula as Marter Stegen, where they would apply a, a salary deferment to Frank de Jong during the first years of his contract extension. And then the final years of his contract extension would see a salary reduction. Now, Barcelona do not want to force any kind of salary reduction on Frank de Jong. They don't want to put any pressure on him because they do want to mend the relationship between them and the player, especially after what happened last summer where the club try to force an exit of the player and so far it's reported that Frank de Jong has communicated to his agents that yes he is willing to sit down and listen to Barcelona's offer but right now he is not interested in reducing his salary or extending his contract. Now, this is of course not good news for Barcelona because we all know that Barcelona are in a difficult financial situation and Barcelona were hoping to reach some kind of agreement with the player so he can help out the club but so far, Frank de Jong, who just became a Barcelona captain, is unwilling to do so. Now, speaking of midfielders, it's reported that Gabriel Moscardo is on the priority list for Barcelona. Now, in case you don't know who Moscardo is, he's a 17-year-old pivot who currently plays in the Brazilian club Corinthians. And Barcelona have been tracking this player for quite some time. And it's even reported that Deco had offered the player to Barcelona. However, at the time, Barcelona decided not to sign him because they had other priorities. Now, Barcelona are very interested in signing Moscardo because they think that he would fit really well in Barcelona. And they were hoping to sign him perhaps next summer once they have more room on their wage bill. However, Chelsea are very interested in signing the player and they have made an official offer to the Brazilian club. So this kind of ruins Barcelona's plans of hoping to sign Moscardo in the future because after all, Barcelona are looking for a long-term solution for the pivot position because even though Oriol Romeo is an undisputed starter in that position, of course, he is 31 or 32 years old. So Barcelona are going to have to sign someone younger for the long-term future. Now, of course, Gabriel Moscardo is not the only option that Barcelona are considering for the pivot position. They are also tracking Arthur Vermeeren who coincidentally does play for the Belgian team Antwerp. 
which Barcelona are set to face off in the Champions League in the next few days. Now, a lot of you have commented on my video saying that Barcelona should sign Arthur Vermeeren and why are Barcelona not signing him? Well, I'm here to tell you that Barcelona have been tracking this, eight, this young 18-year-old pivot for quite some time, but the scouts reports have come back stating that yes, Vermeeren is very talented and yes, he would fit great in the Barcelona system of play. However, the scouting report stated that Arthur Vermeer is still not ready to join Barcelona and that he still needs development. So for now, Barcelona will keep the name of Arthur Vermeer as a possible signing for the future. Now, another player that Barcelona are tracking that we need to talk about is Nico Williams because in a previous video, I reported that Barcelona are tracking the Athletic Club de Bilbao's winger. However, after that, I started seeing a lot of reports saying that Barcelona are trying to sign Nico Williams or that they have made contact with Athletic Club de Bilbao. And while I'm here to clarify exactly what's going on, because yes, Barcelona are tracking Nico Williams, but no, there have been no concrete moves uh, on behalf of Barcelona. And no, they have not made any contracts, contacts with the player or with Athletic Club de Bilbao. Now, Nico Williams' contract expires in the summer of 2024, but he's already in advanced negotiations with Athletic Club de Bilbao to extend his contract by three more years. And it's reported that the player has requested from his current club a low release clause, not too low, but something below the 90 million euros, because even though he does want to remain at Athletic Club de Bilbao, he does not want to close the door to any future big clubs that could come and sign him in the future. Now, these past few days, I've been seeing a lot of articles talking about Barcelona making contacts with Athletic Club de Bilbao or with Nico Williams. And today I even saw an article that saying that, Bar that Nico Williams had snubbed Barcelona because he will be renewing his contract with his current club. Well, I'm here to tell you that those articles are far from the truth. Barcelona have not made any moves to sign Nico Williams. Yes, they are tracking him. Yes, he is on the list of players that the club are curious or interested about but no Barcelona have not made any concrete interest and no Nico Williams has not stopped Barcelona because there hasn't been any concrete interest or moves on behalf of the club so that is it for today I hope you enjoyed the video if you did please give me a like also I would like to invite all of you to please leave a comment down below giving me all your thoughts and opinions about all the news that I share with you and finally I would like to invite all of you to please subscribe to the channel so you can stay current on all the latest news in regards to our beloved club, FC Barcelona. Thank you for watching. I will see you in the next video. And as always, Bisca Barca.